Welcome to Redline TV. On this installment of Redline TV, we're going to take a look at some behind the scene machines used in Hollywood. My name is Mike Majeski. I'm the designer and vice president at Pursuit Systems Inc. We have a line of high performance camera cars and specialized rigging equipment for mounting cameras to vehicles. Our camera cars are high performance based in general. We feel we need to always outperform whatever we're filming and house the right amount of people inside each vehicle to do the job. If you've ever wondered how car commercials, movies, or TV shows capture those beautiful driving shots or high-speed chase scenes, look no further. That Porsche Cayenne Turbo there with the camera attached to it is what's known in the industry as a camera car. Pursuit Systems Inc. and uh, Shelley Ward have built up an arsenal of these essentially dream toys to make movie magic. It's hard to imagine that the aftermarket parts world really has a big part to do with the cool shots that you get in driving scenes and, and other scenes on movies and commercials and stuff. They've got a supercharged Mini Cooper S, turbocharged 500 horsepower Mitsubishi Evo, and an off-road buggy that'll go 120 miles an hour, just to name a few. Uh, what we have out today is the Porsche Cayenne with the crane arm, the high-speed crane arm that we just got finished doing. We've got the off-road buggy, that we've had that for probably five or six years now. The Mitsubishi Evo, which is a rally-based car, which is essentially was built by Reese Millen. Then there's the Mini Cooper that we made for Fast and Furious. Then there's the little go-kart and the electric cart, which were made for Kenny Bates um, from Transformers. The little Mini Cooper, they wanted to shoot high speed for Fast and Furious. They were in little uh, parking structures and they needed something that was small and nimble to be able to shoot in there. So we had actually built that and brought it out to them and, you know, it was something that they ended up loving. We pretty much build all the cars. Well, we'll start with a basic platform and we'll build from there. Some are more involved than others. The off-road was basically a ground-up vehicle. It's kind of a, a bizarre balance because you not only have to deal with making the car stiff enough to be able to be performancey, but you've got to make it soft enough for the camera. One of the most versatile vehicles directors can use to guarantee they get that shot they want is the Porsche Cayenne. Two Porsche Cayennes here today, one with our robotic gyro-stabilized crane arm, one with a standard fixed camera mount system, which can be raised and lowered and moved, but uh, doesn't move during the shot, just the remote head and the camera moves. The Porsche Cayennes are a great vehicle. They're 450 horsepower before you do anything to them. They've got huge brakes and they also hold four to five people and uh, sometimes it takes five people to get the shot right from a director, assistant cameraman, driver, camera operator, or crane operator. We need to be able to outperform each vehicle that we're filming to be able to get any shot that any director or cameraman would like to get, and performance is, is the key. Watching those twin turbo Cayennes in action is always so amazing. It's very cool to see how they get things done in Hollywood. Pursuit Systems, is a specialty company in the film business. They specialize in camera cars and camera rigging. Uh, we use their tools quite a bit for our filmmaking. We use just about every piece of gear our Pursuit had. High-speed chase cars, rigs, off-road buggies, you name it. And if you're shooting an action shot, you pretty much need some gear from Pursuit. The camera cars that Pursuit Systems brought out are capable of getting just about any driving shot imaginable. The Evo's a lot more high performance for track use, uh, gravel roads. The Evo's like a really nimble, kind of uh, fast-paced vehicle. You can really get into tight areas and spaces. The car was really designed to shoot on a racetrack or any road surface for that matter. You can pretty much put this thing anywhere you want and it's got the capacity to outbreak other race vehicles that can run with this car. It's been actually, as you can see, highly modified. It's got all coil over suspension. It's got um, aftermarket oversized brakes and rotors. And then we've gone ahead and attached our camera system to the frame of the vehicle and uh, made it interchangeable with the rest of our cars with the post system. You know, we build the roof racks, roll cages, seats, put all that stuff in the car for this specific application. Then we paint it flat black so that it doesn't reflect in uh, what we're shooting. When you're watching a car scene on TV or the big screen, you never stop to think that there's someone else driving a custom camera car right beside it making the same moves, but with a $400,000 camera attached. When you're shooting on a racetrack or any type of high-speed environment, you're, it's you and you're in control. It takes a, a lot of talent, I think, and a lot of really good drivers who you get to work around and with to achieve shots that normally people can't get. 
This Evo definitely looks like it's got what it takes to keep up with Reese's truck. Obviously, Pursuit Systems has successfully found the perfect balance of high-performance cars and filmmaking. 